I have been wanting to do this experiment for a super long time. This actually happened with my first editor. We were sitting in the room, we're looking at all the Nickpedias, and we're thinking to ourselves, you know, we gotta like do something like big, you know? We need like, you know, that one video, you know, everyone, every, every YouTuber says that. All I need is like, just like one video and then it'll be huge. I wanna do the Soda Mentos Skyzer experiment, but I wanna do it huge. And I wanna break the world record for the largest Soda Mentos Skyzer. Now, in order to recarbonate something, in order to carbonate anything, any liquid, you have to have a very high pressure, right? Uh, over 50 PSI. These were like not meant to hold pressure. Like they were not, they're meant to hold water, not pressure. So there's good, there's good chance that we start repressurizing this, I start shaking it up, and the bottom blows out, the handle blows up, it blows up in my face, I don't know. I don't want it to blow up in my face. Um, but first of all, we have to find a cap that will basically do the same thing as the other one, right? So we either have to like fabricate this cap to do the same thing, or find a cap that fits this, of which I don't know any caps that fit that so far, that do basically the same thing as that carbonation cap. All right, so Rick has been totally awesome. He's hooking us up here. So we're gonna work with this um, top piece. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole through the top here, and we're going to put essentially this in there like that. And then we're gonna get two rubber rings on this side. That way, when this sticks up top, oh, yeah. we go to find a piece that looks like this, attach it to right here, and then we'll essentially have this, but with that cap top. That'll go on top here, and then supposedly, we'll be able to repressurize <laughs> our bottle. So um, we're one step closer, and I wanna say thanks, Rick. Where are we at right now? The fitting source. The fitting source. All right, sweet, thanks man. Thank you. Appreciate it, thank you. All right, so we're one step closer. That's how this whole day is gonna be going. It's like, you know, we get one piece, and then, you know, not one place has the everything, so then you go to another place, and you, know, you just keep listening to what people are telling you, and eventually you're gonna get all the things that you need. And so, what we got here is a keg conversion plug from Firestone, it says pin locks to ball locks. And now we can connect that little keg looking thing right into this. So we need to make sure our seals aren't gonna like blow up and I'm not gonna lose my fingers. Um, and then I, I, I think we can actually try this today. So uh, I'm really nervous, I really, don't want to, I really don't want it to blow up, I get scared very easily. We've literally been told by every single person that we've came in contact, not, not just today, by the way, like every single person that I've told about trying to repressurize this bottle, everyone has said, uh, ooh, ooh, I wouldn't do that, be careful. So like, I get it, it's dangerous. Got myself a hard hat, which I'm gonna have to make right now. I did this backwards. Oh hey. uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely it's like it's carbonated. It's lightly carbonated. All right. Well, so the first part of the test was definitely a success. Our cap is like keeping the pressure as like neatly as possible. I'm, I'm so impressed with our cap. That was Jimmy Rick, basically. I think right now the next step is is designing the Mentos dropper. It's gonna be good, people. It's gonna be good. Okay, so here's what I think we're going to do here. This is our tubing right here. This is our acrylic tubing right here. Okay, this acrylic tube is about the same size as the cap that goes on our five gallon container, right? So, what we're gonna do is we're going to cut a ring of acrylic that's gonna to attach to this end right here, right? We're then going to attach that ring to another piece of acrylic that then attaches to this cap right here. So then we have this like tube that has threading on it. That thread is perfect. We need this thread because that's the thread that's gonna go on top of our bottle, right? We're then going to put a top. We're going to super glue this in place right down here. We're gonna kind of like jam it down in there as far as it'll go. We then have this cap. We'll drill a hole in there. We're gonna cut this funnel to fit through that hole. That way none of these items, the funnel, this cap, none of those has to like really bear the front of the pressure of the soda coming out. The only thing that has to do that is this connection right here. Which I think is pretty solid. I mean, if you look inside there, like it's like, it's pretty, I mean like. It'll be more solid, I promise. 
Problem is, like, it's just still so loose in there. There's like so much room. Mm -hmm. This doesn't come up all the way. That's that's our problem. Sure. Good in theory. We've really kind of jumped ship on the whole it's, it's gonna be perfect thing and we're just trying to make something work. So I'm cutting this thing in half because the threads kind of ran out. It's pretty much like what you never do. You should never do this. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and table this for now until we hit up the LACI. It's an incubator for uh, startup companies, whether they're like in the uh, tech space or the science space. And I actually have the device that we're gonna 3D print and make this like a nice clean cut. I don't know why we just didn't do that to begin with. <laughs> um, so uh, this is definitely TBD, because uh, this was a lot more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, well, uh, we'll pick up downtown. A long time ago, I had come across this place, like I was telling you guys about, the LACI. Um, it's this place downtown, it's a, it stands for the Los Angeles Clean Tech Incubator. And so today, we are here. Here's the team. What's up? <laughs> Team, 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 team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so first of all, where are we? What is this place? This magical so, place. So, yeah, okay. Where we can create right. anything. Where should we start? Uh, this is a machine shop in the advanced prototyping center. We have all CNC equipment, water jet, mill, lathe, equipment to work with metal, 3D printers, lasers, measurements. So. This is part of the advanced prototyping center of uh, Los Angeles Clean Tech Incubator. What is like the point? Like what's like the, why does this place exist? Because, I, I, okay, let's just be honest, right? Like I came here totally selfishly being like, I wanted to break the world record for this largest soda metals geyser. And they totally came on board and they were like, we can help you. And I was like, what? Like how? And they're like, that's the reason. see? That's the reason why we're here is because people like you, people like Kay, and all the people that are around here have <laughs> ideas and they don't have the tools or means or resources and the connections to do that. And we just build all this amazing community with amazing equipment so those ideas come to life. We could have done this thing in the backyard with it like just like whatever, you know what I mean? But this will work. So, so stoked about what's about to go down here. 3D CAD is really awesome. You basically build off of a 2D design. You draw something in 2D and you do something called extrude, which means you're just growing it. And so this is actually just three extruded pieces. First you extrude this part, then you extrude the second part, and then you extrude the third part, and then you cut away whatever shapes or forms you want. So in the end, it's actually pretty simple. It's just like drawing. You start off with a basic form, and then you cut away until you get whatever it is you want. I feel like we're like in Willy Wonka, you know? You know, this is the Disneyland for engineers. <laughs> you have all this access. It's like m these million dollar machines. Like, how do you get access to this place? What does that require? Super easy, super easy. We got, right now, a special Indiegogo campaign that allows anybody, any individual to get a membership for 50% off. That's awesome. Just basically apply, bring your idea, don't be a criminal. <laughs> check, check, check. We're definitely putting the Indiegogo link, by the way, in the description of this video. So whatever level you are, whatever expertise you have, you can just, we're all, we're, everybody's welcome here. That's so. awesome. Right now we got the final product after it just comes out, it came out of the, um, of the 3D printer. Right here, what we got is the final product. It comes out and you just take the tray out and it has both the bottle material and the support material. That's why you see old jelly. So now we want to get all the resting out that is the support material and it's water soluble. Yeah. So you just blast it. Did you see? It's like a little tiny car wash. It's like a little tiny car wash. Look at that, she did the thing so it completely wow, blocked it. it's a perfect bevel. That's phenomenal. She did a great job. That is out. So, the moment of truth, we just figure it out before we finish this out if yeah. the thread is going to work in that. Okay, yeah. Wow. 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 It's a perfect match. Look in comparison. Here's 
Here's our prototype. Here's the thing that we're actually working with. Three, two, one. Rock and freaking soda mix. Clap. Oh my god, that's yeah. so fast. Fucking good. That is Fucking so good. fast. That is amazing. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Perfect. That's that's amazing. For so many reasons, I have to wash my hands. As you can see, we're approaching sunset, so uh, you know it's it's getting close to dark, and we've gone through the whole day. We're already working on a, like a time limit, so we're just gonna do this. Um, what's really nice is that in the LIC incubator is a lighting company called Hive. And they have all sorts of cool stuff, and they actually donated some of their lights for our project. Right here, and for us to use it. So I don't think we're gonna have any issues with lights. Here's our device. It's nice, perfect, brilliantly made. Hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> whoa, whoa. There's yeah, a lot of CO2 in there. As much as possible. I feel so like, like in the zone, dude. I feel like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, dude, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna push through. Like, I don't care what happens. <laughs> It's raining! No, no, it's just not. It was so filled that it didn't go. <laughs> it wouldn't let him up. We had to leave some room there. Yeah. Ah! Uh, failure! Yeah, look, you see, now it's trying to react again. Hmm. Oh, here comes towards all the electrical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We need more space at the top of the Yeah, we need like about that much space so the, the mentors can drop in the whole solution instead of like starting the reaction right there. It started the reaction right here. Right. So we pushed all the other mentors up so we didn't even get like the full, you know? Today, we are attempting the Soda Mentos Geyser world record. Now we tried this once before. And we filled it up way too much to the top here as we pulled the Mentos. It reacted too quickly and it actually pushed the Mentos back up into our device. So I'm gonna bring it down to about right here this time around. All right, here we go. Three, two. I'm still in shock, that's amazing. I can't believe it works. So, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Uh, in the comment section below, let me know, like, what do you think? I mean, we, we did it, we, we broke the record, so uh, did this blow your mind as much as it blew my mind? Uh, we did this whole collaboration with the LACI. The link to the LACI is in the description below. I want you to check them out. They're always doing new stuff. Uh, I definitely want you guys to check it out. Very cool, we could not have done this without them, so we owe them a huge thank you, and, yeah, um, we'll see you really soon because we have a lot of new videos uh, just like this one. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of really big science experiments, release videos on Tuesday and on Friday, and I'll see you guys really soon.